today we are testing this borescope, this endoscope camera, which should be good for auto care, as indicated over here. And well, this is just the box, so this is not important. I have the actual camera over here. So here it is. We don't need that. Uh, we have a USB to USB-C cable for charging because this has a built-in battery over here. There's about five feet of uh, wire and you can see that you can shape it like so. So it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to guide it through those uh, um, tight um, vents and so on. And over here at the tip we have the actual camera lens but it's protected by this silicone cap I believe it's pretty hard to take it off and here it is we have a camera lens this is full HD with LED illumination but on the side over here you can see that there's another one you can switch the views between those two okay so let's uh, take a closer look at the device huge display couple buttons over here we have power button, mode button, OK, settings, up and down, illumination and zoom. At the back we have the trigger, which you can use to uh, take a photo or start and stop the recording. And over here we have the uh, camera tip control, because this can move. You can, you can adjust the camera tip and this will help you not only see better but also guide the camera better you can take turns with it yeah and what's else over here on the side we have a small cover and underneath we have the USB-C port for charging we have memory card to store the pictures and videos we have the reset button if the device needs to be reset for some reason there's a microphone over here and there's a speaker over here Nothing on the top, nothing on this side. Silicon grip. So let's turn it on. Long press to turn it, turn it on. Test long. We can see that the LED is on right now. Let's turn it off. And this is how the camera works. Okay, so maybe right now let's go through the menu let's check if there are some interesting settings and then we are going to check what's inside the uh, ac system over here in audi i've put it over here and okay let's go to settings oh we have mirror over here we have um, resolution language let's check which languages are supported english deutsch is there polish Let's check if there's Polish language over here. No, sorry. So let's stick to English. Temperature units, because there's a temperature sensor over here, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, diet tag, audio recorder, as I said, you can record um, video with sound or without sound. Um, time settings, automatic power off to preserve the battery, storage space and version. Okay, so not, not much over here, let's go back. In the top left corner we can see that we are in photo mode, but when we press the mode button we can switch to video and we can switch to media browser. Okay, with this button I believe we can rotate the view and over here we can turn on the LED which has three uh, levels of brightness. With this button we can take a picture and when you press and hold it you switch from the main camera over here to the side camera over here. So right now we have the view from the side camera and also we can take a picture. Okay so let's start recording and let's go over here through the right vent we can see that there's a flap closed so let's uh, turn on the uh, face vent and this should should open the flap and right now we can go here let's look
look, look around. Okay. To the left. Let's go here. To the right. Okay. Nice. Everything clean here. No leaks. So that's good. We can look around. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Navigating through those events can be tricky, but the moving tip that you can control makes it much easier. We can also see on the display that there's a temperature readout. This is from the camera tip, I believe, but since we are using LEDs on the camera tip, well, those LEDs make the tip a little bit warmer. So this readout is not ambient temperature around the camera, but it's basically the inside temperature of the camera unit over here. You also need to be careful when going through vents because in some of them, like over here, we have this small electronic board. This is the temperature sensor of the output, of the air arp output, and we don't want to damage that. So, well, most likely going through this left vent to check the system is not a good idea. When it comes to pros and cons of this device, well, let, let me remove it pros and cons of, the, of this device. Well, I really like how the um, uh, mine unit looks, how easy it is to use, that the trigger is over here, which make, uh, makes it very easy to operate. And well, there are a couple things that I don't like. Um, the temperature readout is a nice touch, but since you are uh, using LEDs, you are not actually measuring the space that you are watching. Yeah, this makes uh, those LEDs make uh, the tip a little bit warmer, so you have a higher readout than you expect. Also, there's a timeout option which turns off the device automatically after a certain periods of time. But I was uh, hoping that. Um, it will it would um, do the timeout uh, countdown from the last touch yeah so if i'm using the device uh, for a couple of minutes or even i don't know half an hour it will not turn it off after 5 minutes it will wait for uh, for a period of 5 minutes without my input but well it's not the case if i'm using the device for 5 minutes playing with the buttons and those 5 minutes have passed will turn it off automatically. This is an easy fix that they can do um, with a software update if one will be available. Okay, I also like that this um, this wire, yeah, this cable uh, can be shaped. It makes it a little bit easier to navigate through vents um, uh, compared to the standard uh, camera cables, which can be a little bit flimsy and they are not as easy to push down those long um, uh, long canals. Um, but on the other side, it's a little bit harder to navigate uh, um, it uh, up and down. Yeah, you can always do left and right with the controls over here. Yeah, but up and down, well, it's a little bit tricky. Yeah, you can rotate it as a whole and then use the uh, control over here to go up and down so it's doable i also like that there's this hard case uh, um, uh, protective box uh, box uh, for it uh, i've uh, i've always find myself with cool devices which i cannot store safely anywhere and this one this one has the box in um, as a part of the set so that's also cool Okay, so it's about 150, 150 dollars, US dollars on Amazon, if I'm correct. So check the link in the description below this video if you want to get one of those. And if there are some things that you want to check while I still have this, let me know in the comments below and I will try to do my best and um, give it another, another go if there's something that you want uh, me to uh, confirm for you. Okay, so I hope that you like this simple review. That's it for today and see you soon.